Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Science and Knowledge. Shahbaz here and once again we have fresh news and updates about LG G9 ThinQ, the flagship of 2020. Let's start the video. What is known about the smartphone LG G9 ThinQ? LG is expecting a smartphone that can truly surprise the public and become a popular device. This South Korean manufacturer has not produced for quite some time. Of course, in the last couple of years, the company has created decent devices, but none of them managed to shake the image. At first, there was an ambitious and far from ideal LG G5 with a modular design. After that, LG moved away from risky innovations in the flagship devices line. Then there were problems in order to highlight their products against the background of numerous competitors in the expensive segment. Will the company take risks in the LG G9 ThinQ model or will it go off the beaten track and will not present anything particularly interesting? It's too early to talk about it exactly, but you can analyze the available information and make assumptions. Let's talk about price and release date. LG usually announces its new smartphones at MWC in Barcelona in February. LG G8 Think was introduced on February 24 this year. Sales begun in March, thus the new flagship should be introduced next year. As for the price, it is unlikely to increase significantly compared to the LG G8. The LG G6 model in the United States, at the time of launch, the recommended cost of the LG G7 ThinQ rose to $750. US LG G8 was released for $850, US which is seemed a pretty expensive proposition. However, since then it has managed to decline to more acceptable level. It is unlikely this time the cost will increase by another 100 US dollars, but we can assume a price of 899 US dollars. Let's talk about camera. If you look at last year's LG patterns, one of them is striking. This is a pattern for a smartphone with 16 rear cameras. Wow. It is unlikely that in the near future the company will really release such a device and yet it can be assumed that the number of cameras will be increased. Recently devices with three rear cameras have become familiar. Periodically there are four or even five. This allows for more diverse shooting options. While the weight of the device does not particularly increase, sensors and lenses are small enough which allows engineers to fit more and more cameras with different focal lengths. The software is also being improved and allows you to use them together or in turn with a diagonal combination of shooting results. The LG V40 has a triple rear camera, the South Korean version of the LG G8 ThinQ2. One of the possibilities from the patent is the simultaneous shooting of photographs with all cameras. This allows you to select the best frame after. You can also create more detailed panoramic shots by combining images. An increase in the number of cameras at the same time improves the quality of image depth analysis for portrait shooting. This is important and augmented reality applications. Let's talk about improved OLED screens. In terms of screen innovation, LG has not offered anything interesting in recent years. OLED plastic panels are inferior in quality to Samsung Super AMOLED screens. They have lower maximum brightness and worse color accuracy. True, the LG G8 in this record has been improved compared to its predecessor. LG follows its competitors and increases screen size. It becomes longer, the frames around it decrease, a cutout appeared. Next in line are the front cameras inside the screen. But it is unlikely that it will be already the LG G9. Technology is only in its infancy. There were already working prototypes, but so far not a single commercial smartphone. The first one is expected next week from Vivo. If you look at the LG patterns of last year, the company nurtures the idea of the camera inside the hole. This is nothing new since a lot of such smartphones have already been released. For LG, it would be useful to surprise the audience and release a smartphone with a camera inside the screen. The company has huge production capacities to create OLED panels and has enough resources to develop and implement such innovations. But will she just want to use these resources? Now let's talk about headphone jack. 
more and more smartphones come out where there is no 3.5 mm jack samsung still saves them in the galaxy s line but in the galaxy note 10 the connector may disappear soon it will become a real rarity but it still remains in lg devices this manufacturer pays great attention to sound quality and installs an excellent digital to analog converter to improve the quality of audio in the headphones. If only LG was not going to stop betting on music lovers and you should not worry about the safety of the connectors. User interface required changes. LG's shell on top of Android is not considered the worst, but some improvements in terms of appearance and functionality would not hurt. The LG G8 runs on Android Pie, but there are not many of Google's features such as the digital wellness option. There is also no dark version of the interface which on the OLED screen would be very useful. Almost all manufacturers presented their options for such an interface. Perhaps LG will do it. We hope you will like this video. If you do, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel Science & Knowledge. Until the next video. Peace out.